Hello and welcome to Redkey Tutorial. In this video we are going to learn how to edit textures using Photoshop. By editing textures we can change the color of any outfit or armor we want and make tattoos, makeups, scars. And it's not just for characters. You can edit any 2D file and change their textures. Now let's get started. First, we need to export the texture from Asset Browser. This is RedKit main page. From here, click on this icon to open Asset Browser. Now, inside Asset Browser, look for the texture file you want to edit. I am going to edit a series out of it. Texture files are 2D. Can identify them this way. And the series out of it, texture is located inside this path. But they have no thumbnail. To find out which one is which, open them one by one. This one is for her out of it. There are three files look like same, but the first one is the main one. And the green ones, also the pink and purple, are something else. I will explain in the end. For now, focus on these files that have original color on them. Finally, open one of them. And in this menu, you can zoom in and identify the texture. Use right click and mouse scroller to navigate. After you made sure it's the one you're looking for, close this and select the file, then right click on it. Here, select export asset. Now select the location for the file to export. After that, set this option to DDS. That's important. Then export. OK, go to that place. As you can see, we have it, and it's DDS file. Next step is to download and install Photoshop. So we download it. After that, you need DDS plugin, which you can download it from this website. I put the link in the video description. After you download it, put the file inside it here, in Photoshop installation directory, inside plugins. Now you can run Photoshop. When you open it, don't try to make a new file and customize it, then put the DDS file inside it. Instead of that, directly open the DDS file we export from Asset Browser, just like that. Now this is it, let's edit. If you never used Photoshop, don't worry, it's simple. Use this to go up, down, left, right. Select Alt and use your mouse scroll to zoom in and zoom out. OK, let's edit. The ways we can edit this are so many. For example, from here you can select a brush and paint it any color you want. Then it turns to that color inside game after we extract it. But I have a better idea. Go to internet and download some cloth PNG files, files like these, with more realistic textures on them. I did download some. Now select one of the PNG files and drop it here, just like that, drag and drop. Now place it where you want it to be. This is her pants and this is her shirt. After you place it, you can come here and use this section to make the cloth more suitable on her outfits. This looks good. You can select this and delete the parts of PNG cloth that are in the way. It's all about your Photoshop skills now. OK, after you're done, it's time to extract it. First, merge these layers by selecting them all and click on Merge Layers. OK, come to Files and select Export and Export As. Now here, you have to export it as GPG file. It's important. Select GPG and put this to high quality. Now don't change any setting. Just click Export. Here, export it as the same as the original file, which is already that. 
Now, after you export it, open Asset Browser and go to the folder that we extract this file from, the original file. Then right click on the background and select Import and 2D Textures. In this window here, select GPG file and go to the location you extract the file from Photoshop. Select it and import. Here, OK to all. And when it asks you this question, select yes. Then to second question. Done. The file is replaced with the original one and it's ready to publish. Go to Asset Browser and select Publish. Then save and publish the mod. You know the basics, right? Give it a name, version, description, then cook the mod. It can take few minutes. After it's done, install it. You can also use this option to create a zip file for your mod and publish your mod to internet. Okay, let's check the mod. Run the game and find the Siri on her default out of it in a natural condition. So as you can see, the mod is installed. You can do this to any armor part you want or anything that has texture file. Now let's add a tattoo mod. For that, you need to export a skin textures. This time I'm going to export a face texture. Then do some tattoos, also makeup, and finally scars. Just like before, we export the files from Asset Browser. And import the files to Photoshop. And add PNG files on it. Then use our Photoshop skills and edit it. In the best way we can. Finally, export the file as GPG and import it inside Asset Browser in the same folder where its original version is. And yes, and yes. Done. Publish the mod and enjoy. I could stay right here forever. So, what are these files, which are also textures but different colors? Well, they call the specular and the normal maps. Usable for matters like these. If you want to add a scar, you need to add the PNG file on these textures files too. So make it more realistic. For example, I made a scar by using the main texture file and used the same PNG scar with these three at the same time. And this is the difference. It's simple, let me explain. First download this file for Photoshop. I did put the link in the video description. After that, double click on it. Then install it on Photoshop. This file allows us to make those two texture files. Now it's ready. You can find it on Actions. These are them. GM and ND. So how to use them? Well, they will help you to make the PNG file that you use to only edit the main texture file, like these two different color files, so you can edit them as well. First find the PNG scar file and edit the main texture file, then export it. Now, you also need to export those two files from Asset Browser so you can edit them. First, find them. Remember, there is three of them for each. The first one is for the first out of it, the second one is for second. It works like this. Just make sure to export the correct one. Now, open them with Photoshop. As you can see, I have them here. This is the scar we used for the first one. 
Now we need to change it and make it looks like these two. First make sure you don't adjust its scale and also make sure its PNG file and background is empty. Then select this layer and go here in actions. Click on GM. Then from down here, click on this icon. Give it a second. And there you have the green one. Then we extract this file as a PNG file because we want the background to be gone. Then we're going to use drag and drop method to put it on top of next file. Okay, drag and drop this on top of this file and merge layer, then export as GPG. Now get rid of this one and turn the scar to its normal texture by undo your move, Control plus Z. Okay, this time select the layer and click on ND and this icon. After a while, this happens. Select stop. Next, delete this. Then hide this. Finally, hide the background. And go to Filters, then Others, and select High Pass. Here, adjust it as you see fit. And go to Filters again. This time choose HSP, HSL and put these settings like this, then OK. Now here, turn this off, then extract this as a PNG too. Then select that, and put on top of this, then extract, like before. Finally go to Asset Browser, and import all of the files we made, as GPGs. Finally install the mod and check out them inside game. It looks decent. If you want better than this, you need to make your Photoshop skills better. And yeah, that was all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. some nastiness to me.